Emma Ronsick is the daughter of two college basketball players, and she grew up with basketball in her blood. But her killer instinct hadn't fully been developed as a child. So I guess I like stole a ball from a girl and then I like gave it back to her because I felt bad. But I mean, there wasn't a time that I'd remember that I wasn't playing basketball. Ronsick has been a fixture in the O'Gorman lineup since she entered high school. Yeah, we knew she was going to be a good basketball player uh, when she started her freshman season. Uh, we had her coming off the bench and um, started off really well and just um, about five or six games into it, we just said, uh, we got to make the move. Um, this kid deserves a start. Uh, she can help this basketball team. Um, if we do it now, you know, she could progress um, throughout the course of the season and that was obviously a great move. Uh, she continued to get better. Uh, perform really well down the stretch and into the state tournament and help lead um, our team to the state championship that year. But then sophomore year I realized like, oh I could really like do something right now or like I could really change this program. She changed the program all right. Emma is on pace to become the school's all-time leading scorer this season. She's a dynamic player that defies a singular position and that's the way she likes it. So I always kind of grew up being a post but then I got really tired of it. Like I used to hate it. So then I tried to like become more of a guard. So I think being tall when I was younger and like always just being the post really helped me like develop into what I have her skill set now. Yeah, I mean she just brings so many things to the table. Um, offensively, you know, she's so versatile. Uh, can shoot the three point shot very well. Uh, she puts it on the floor. Um, I love playing in her post. Uh, she's so strong inside there. Uh, can score in just a variety of ways. Just a kid that fills up stat charts, uh, but she also makes our other players better. Um, you know, like this season, we have, uh, I think, a number of really good perimeter shooters, and she draws so much attention um, that we've been able to uh, get paint touches or dual penetrations and kick to our shooters based on the attention she's getting. Knowing that, like, if someone tries to face guard me, they'll get out of it right away because of, like, the assets that we have with, like, the shooters that we have and the people that can pass the ball. So. It's just really fun knowing that we have all the skills that we have. It didn't take area colleges long to recognize her unique combination of size, skill, and athleticism. But last year, Emma zeroed in on one particular school that she felt most comfortable with. She went to a Creighton Elite camp and got a great surprise later that day. They offered me, like, as I left the gym of the Elite camp, and I just thought that it was one of the best feelings I've ever had, and then I just knew, like, I waited a couple months, but just to like think about it, think about all the other schools, but I just knew it was a school for me. In the Big East, Emma is looking forward to the level of play and some of the great trips she'll take. UConn will be joining the Big East in 2020, so that'll be fun. It's my freshman year, I'll be able to play against them. But before she takes those trips and plays at the college level, there's one thing she's dedicated to improving. Defense, definitely. They tell me that all the time, you're great does their like obviously it's nice to like score a bunch of points in these high school games, but they, at the end of the day they always ask me about like how my defense was, so I just know I have to improve on that a lot. You know, with Phil Gorman playing a combination of different defenses, um, she hasn't played as much man um, as maybe some other kids did, but uh, she's, got the, she's got the ability to do it. It's, just, it's an adjustment anytime you go to that next level, and uh, we just want her to have a great senior year to finish up, and uh, we think she's going to have a great career at Creighton, and certainly wish her the best after this season.